So I'm sure you've all seen the female rage edits on TikTok. They are very popular or maybe they were very popular maybe like a year ago or something like that. They were really popping on my For You page on TikTok. <laughs> So I took on the task to watch every female rage movie and what we're going to do today on this video is we're going to rank all of those female rage scenes. The categories are... Okay, so first let's talk about the movie Pearl. I think this movie honestly was the one that kind of like went the most viral on TikTok or at least the one that had the most TikTok viral sounds. Emotion. And then of course, um, because this is a movie produced by Sam Levinson, the same producer of Euphoria, she f the scarecrow. I mean, that's the natural progression of that. So I'm going to say that her screaming to a scarecrow, I'm married, is low-key so real because I feel like this scene is the first one that lets you know that she's kind of losing her mind or she's out of her mind already, I'm not sure. In this scene, you can see that the loneliness surrounding her is making her do such things like kissing a scarecrow. But I don't know, there's something funny about that scene. I don't know what it is. It's just funny. The way that she was the one that went to the scarecrow and then she got the scarecrow out of his place to dance with him and then kissed him using tongue and then accused him of kissing her i don't know there's some level of craziness that i feel like it's a little bit real in that scene then we have the scene of her praying to god please lord make me the biggest star the world has ever known Again, I feel like this scene is so real. I feel like all of us, we've been there. All of us have been in that position that we feel a little bit hopeless and a little bit disappointed with our lives. And we turn to God to ask him for help. So I feel like this scene is very real. Then we get this another iconic scene. Why are you leaving me? If I don't do anything wrong, I don't understand. I thought you liked me! I do like you. I just... Tell me! I feel like this scene, well the audio at least, the audio of this scene, we can put it under I'm just a girl because I feel like we as girls, we've all been in that position. Maybe we didn't scream that out loud, but we have definitely thought about that, you know? So I feel like in this scene, she's just being a girl. Obviously, we're not going to talk about what she did after she said that, but we do need to talk about this audio. I'm not staying on this farm! I feel like this specific audio only looks good on edits because when you put the context you exist in the context of the scene all together it's not a slay I feel like here you can tell that she really lost her mind so her often that guy was very uncalled for in my opinion her being mad at him and doing that to him makes no sense and I get it the movie is not gonna make sense a lot of the action that she takes on the movie are not going to make sense because she is insane but why did she do that to him like plus she had only known him for like two days like Girl, what? And then finally, we have the most iconic scene from this movie. And this scene, I feel like it falls under the category of low-key so real because I feel like we've all been in that position of we really want something. In her case, she wanted the part of the dancing team, whatever. She didn't get it and then she felt like she did the best that she could and still wasn't enough. So I feel like all of us have been there like, oh, we do the best that we can. We practice, practice, practice. And then we deliver a good performance and we still didn't get the part. That's why I feel like her having a little breakdown after not getting a part is very real of her the next movie we're going to talk about is jennifer's body now this was my first time watching this movie like when this movie came out i never watched it i don't know why so i only watched it for this video and i have a lot to say girl this movie it's so millennial coded like everything from the fashion the soundtrack the hairs the lingo the ambience everything screams millennial millennial in this movie and also i'm going to say this i know a lot of people like this movie but i didn't i don't know like it was i found the script and the story a little bit shallow like oh my god this band wants to be famous so they're going to do a satanic ritual with a girl and then the girl will transform into a demon like girl what <laughs> i don't know like <laughs> 
maybe because I'm not the target audience for this movie so maybe that's what I didn't like it as much as other people but that's just my opinion anyway let's talk about the iconic scenes from this movie first we have the lighter on the tongue scene in the movie this scene is trying to tell you is that other people can harm her and it wouldn't matter because she's going to regenerate but other than that it doesn't tell you anything so I feel like this particular scene only looks good on edits and then the other iconic scene from this movie is this one I am going to eat your soul and shit and again this scene I feel like only looks good on edits because I remember watching edits that had this scene I was like oh my god why is she so mad at this other person that she's saying this but it turns out that she wanted to ship just because he was a boy and ship was like low-key one of the nicest guys in the movie not only that but ship was her friend's boyfriend so i don't understand why she was trying to kill him like it didn't make sense why she hated him so much other than the fact that he was a boy and then on top of that he died so yeah i feel like this scene for me is one of those scenes that only looks good on edit so the next movie we're going to talk about is girl interrupted the first one is this one maybe i was just crazy so I feel like this one is a no-brainer. Obviously, this is going to fall under the category of I'm just a girl because she was just a girl. Or maybe I was just a girl. And the other viral scene that we get out of this movie is this one. What? No, 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 please, please. No! This one, I feel like also falls under the category of I'm just a girl. Like we as girls, we've all been under a situation that makes us say this. The other one that we have is this one. Get the fuck out of the public, Valerie! Valerie! This one I feel like only looks good on edits because you need to know the context of the scene to really get why she's screaming Valerie and also why Valerie. Like you need to have watched the movie to get this scene so this sound alone is only good on edits. The next one. Yeah, that, that is more not fair! That is not fair! 74 is the perfect way! <laughs> This one is very I'm just a girl coded. The other viral scene that we get out of this movie is this one. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that he fucks you. Girl. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that this was a viral sound on TikTok because if you know the context of the scene, this is not a slay. So I'm going to put it under only looks good on edits because when you know the context of the scene, this is kind of mean even. What they don't know is that you like it. Because Daisy was very nice to Susanna and Lisa like she opened the door of her house to both of them and then why does Lisa have to be such a bitch? and say such a thing. I hate that scene and I hate what happened after. The next movie we're going to talk about is I, Tonya. So there's only one viral scene from this movie and it's the makeup scene. I think that this scene gave what it needed to be gave. No screaming, no dialogue needed. She did everything with her facial expressions and with the makeup. Eight. So the next movie we're going to talk about is Kill Bill Volume 1. So all of Tarantino movies have like this certain level of campiness to them. But I feel like Kill Bill is one of the movies that has the most campiness. And when you really think about it, this movie is funny as because everything is very exaggerated like the sound when they look at each other at the beginning and then the sound effects of the fight like it's very Tom and Jerry-esque if you ask me and also we have the very iconic scene of the nurse whistling in the hospital she was given Eamon Targaryen, Ken Kaneki Slay. And we also have the classic feet scene that we see in every Tarantino movie. So we have the very viral scene of Lucy Liu saying this. The price you pay for bringing up either my Chinese or American heritage as a negative is, I collect your fucking head. Now if any of you sons of bitches got anything else to say, now's the fucking time! 
Yeah, I feel like this scene is very iconic Diva Slay the competition. Then we have the scene of Gogo saying hi, which was made into a viral sound on TikTok. Hi! And again, I feel like even though this scene is very good and it's not taken out of context, I feel like it only sounds good on edits because there's not much to the scene. She's just saying hi. It's just a TikTok sound now. So it only looks good on edits. We also have the scene of Gogo crying blood. This one falls under the no screaming but delivered because even though I don't understand why she was crying blood, it didn't make sense. Like what, what happened inside her that she started crying blood. The scene is very aesthetic it's so beautiful I don't know there's something to that scene that gave what was supposed to be giving and then we have the silly Caucasian girl scene silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords Girl, this is iconic diva slay the competition category. She really ate her up. And I don't care that at the end of the battle she lost, she ate her up with this scene. The next movie that we're going to talk about is Gone Girl. Gone Girl and Pearl are like the top two movies of the female rage edits. But the viral or iconic scene from Gone Girl is this. You think I'd let him destroy me and end up happier than ever? No fucking way. He doesn't get to win is very iconic Diva Slay the Competition. Like, there's no question. I think the whole movie is very iconic Diva Slay the Competition. And then the last movie I want to talk about that I haven't really seen on any female rage or I'm just a girl edits is Sucker Punch. I don't understand why this movie is not more talked about because it's so iconic from the outfits that the girls were wearing to the fight scenes. <laughs> Like, girl, when I tell you this is what every anime life action movie wants their fight scene to look like and they haven't accomplished that, but Sucker Punch did. It's not only that, it's that every fight scene takes place on a different environment. So you don't get bored of it. It's so good. It's such a good movie. I love it. And I really want to see Sucker Punch on more edits. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you when I see you, okay? Bye! Shove it right up your hairy